Hi, my name is Tracy McGrady. My nickname is T-Mac. I play for the Houston Rockets. My job is to make my team better, to unite my team, to have an influence on the young kids that want to be like T-Mac. One, two, three. Actually, this year, it was easier. This was the easiest year we've had working out. It was tough being on the road, but Tracy having the gym at his house, the weight room at his house, it was the most consistent and best summer we've had, you know, since he's been in the NBA. Seven, eight, nine, the set. All right. These workouts you do these next four days is the last one for the season starter. Championship season. Thank you. And the MVP season. One. Two. Every day, you know, um, whether I was in town or whether I was out of town, I was just real consistent at what I did, and uh, my conditioning was was better than it ever been before. My strength, um, just my size, everything uh, was was more, you know, sharp. It was, it was just a, a real progress, and just trying to build up to get where I wanted to be, and. By being consistent, we got there. That's that's probably the biggest thing that's changed with Tracy is uh, he's become a better professional, and uh, he's realized that the summers make him better, hard work makes him better. One more, one more. I got it, I got it. Come on, come on, I got it. come on. All right, good. What we're doing here is this is like um, a system we set up um, to work on explosion, work on speed, endurance, conditioning, all in one. It's kind of a mini boot camp. Um, we'll start over here with a jump machine. All right, you got 30 jumps. Load on one, two. The jump machine works on these explosions. It's a rubber band holding him down when he jumps against for resistance. Um, we'll go from there to a lunge, the length of the court and back. We'll go from there to ball touches on the backboard with an eight pound medicine ball, eight pound ball. We'll come here for a jump rope for a minute. Then we're gonna run some forwards and backwards sprints on the court. Go. Some jumps on the box. He'll run the step. The weight vest weighs 11 pounds, so he'll be wearing that on the whole system. And everything's stopwatch. Good. That completes one time around. This will be done three times. I was told that you know, I wasn't going to make it, that I would be out of the league. I was criticized by so many people. I was even criticized by my first year coach that I didn't have the work ethic. I didn't have the passion um, nor the determination to, to be a star in this league. And I just took that as a motivating factor. Eight, nine. All right, one more set. I think that's what drove me um, to work as hard as I did to push myself to exhaustion. Uh, you know, Tracy was in probably the best shape coming off the season that, that he's been in his NBA career. Uh, he took lifting more serious through the season this year. And um, when he came off, he took less of a vacation than he used to does. So actually he had, he was in really good shape when he started. And for a devastating blow to set you back is very devastating, but um, it happens and you can't get discouraged, you just got to move forward and man, keep working hard. Good. Uh-oh. All right, uh, big matchup tonight. This is something that uh, sells a lot of tickets. Tracy McGrady and Kobe Bryant. That These is the two guys yeah. are awesome. You can see the comparison here. They're both Mr. Do-It-All for their teams. Kobe Bryant here taking it to the basket strong. He's been the leading scorer in 19 out of 20 out of the 23, 24 games that the Lakers have had. So there's no question who's going to beat you in tonight's game. Here's Tracy McGrady. He's Mr. Do-It-All for the Houston Rockets. And these two players are perhaps the most dominant players in their position in the game today, Bill. Oh, you gotta love these two guys. Tracy McGrady, Mr. Do It All for the Houston Rockets. Knocking down the turnaround jumper there. Pulling up for the nice Jimmy here. Nothing but net. We, we've seen him many, many times. He's capable of scoring, even with the left hand. Tracy's awesome. On the other end, you got Mr. Excitement, Kobe Bryant. 
He shoots the jumper about as well as anyone we know in the league. And here he is driving to the basket as well. Kobe scored, been the leading scorer for the Lakers in 19 out of 23 games. We know if the Lakers are going to beat you, he's the guy to do it. Now, Deke is pretty fired up about this start tonight. Oh, he hasn't played much this year, Bill. So he, this is his opportunity to get his throw on. <laughs> <laughs> well, T-Mac goes around Kobe, sets up Ryan Bowen, and he hits it. And made him change his shot a little bit. Here's Kobe going to the basket, draws the foul. Now, he'll go to the free throw line as many as anybody in the league. He averages over eight free throw attempts a game. Kobe Bryant. And they, they think he's a little bit better than Kwame Brown. And the foul is called on Kobe Bryant. It, the, it hit the glass, but it was on the other side of the basket. There's T-Mac. Got him in the air and drew the foul from Smush Parker. Kobe's taking him initially, and then Parker's coming over to help. Well, they, they know that T-Mac may be a little bit too much one-on-one. -on -one. As he starts to put it on the floor, they're going to come with two and three guys. He had 16 points in Seattle, so he'll get some more shots tonight. Bryant taking it inside, and he draws a foul. This will be on David Wesley. I like the way the Rocket defense is collapsing on the Kobe Bryant penetration, but they need to get there a little bit quicker with their bodies. <laughs> Behind Jamal Wilkes and Bob McAdoo, and Kurt Rambis was not going to let me get any playing time in Power 4. He used to beat me to a pulp in practice, so I had to move up to small forward. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're rebuilding right now. Hey, you see, Kobe just picked up his second foul. I'm kind of a little surprised they're letting him get up that close on Tracy Brady. That's well, interesting. You know, uh, don't, don't say you heard it from me, but there's a such a thing as an untouchable. <laughs> He's going to work on Big D. Nowhere to go. Kobe Bryant back into the game now, working on McGrady. And he puts it up, misses, and he'll shoot. Oh, Tracy McGrady is called for his second foul of the game. So McGrady and Bryant with two fouls apiece guarding each other. Two great players. Now, I don't know... You, you, I, I would take a chance on letting either one of these guys get in foul trouble because you need them on the court. You used to guard Jordan. Uh, exactly, but only for the first half. Richie in that pile. Tommy Brown gives it up to Kobe Bryant. will fire three. Kobe Bryant with his first field goal of the game. All of his points have come from the free throw line. He has eight. Grady. Trying to get a step on Devin George, he does, and up and in. Well, it's tough to call on Devin George. It's a good, it's a good luxury by the Los Angeles Lakers to have George to put on McGrady. Because McGrady is still guarding Kobe on the other end. Isolation for Kobe Bryant. George really giving McGrady fits, and Tracy behind the three-point line is fouled. He'll shoot three. Don't foul the jump shooter behind the three-point line. <laughs> How many times have you heard that? But yet it happens game after game. They have trouble scoring as well. Kobe gets it into Devin George. Good pass from Kobe Bryant. And the one thing McGrady has learned to do, coming out on Luther Head. Luther on the drive, stolen by Kobe Bryant. Lucci's the only guy down there. Vujicic puts it up for two. And now the Lakers are starting to pull away. 27-17. Largest lead of the game for L.A. Now to Kobe. Shot clock down to five seconds. Bryant puts it up and in. The degree of difficulty for Bryant and T-Mac is rather high. Bowen throws it away. Bryant with another steal. He'll be one of the leaders in steals every year. Smush Parker for the three. Great. Only one for five from the field. They've done a pretty good job on him, but you don't say that very long, do you? <laughs> he comes right in and lets them know. Everybody at home, raise your hand if you believe me. If you believe five <laughs> shots for himself, raise your hand. It's unanimous. They believe me. No, they believe me. Kobe with the running one-hander. 12 points for Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant blocked by McGrady. Rockets have the fast break. Luther Head steps behind the three-point line and misses. 
course, he's been called on to play point guard with Rafer Austin on the injured list. Rafer's injury hasn't come around as fast as the Rockets would hope. McGrady to the basket for two, and he's fouled. Boy, he would not be denied when he turned that corner. He turned that corner, and it got a little physical turning the corner. But nevertheless, he stayed the course. His tracing, he and Kobe going at it, turns the corner, and he continues to put that head down, and he finishes strong. Haven't uh, played a minute and a half yet. Now Kobe on the wing. McGrady has three fouls. Kobe takes it in, draws the foul. And the foul is called on David Weston. Second foul on David. He came over to help McGrady out on the double team. And now Ryan's got to try to slow down Kobe Bryant. And it's a two-pointer for Kobe. So it's back to a 10-point Laker lead. We told him, Bill, that you got to score, David. And certainly he comes right out. Oh, that's, I told him either score or sit over there with us. <laughs> There's a basket by Kobe. He's starting to warm up now. 18 points for Bryant. He trying to set a pick. McGrady goes to the glass. And four Lakers surrounding McGrady. Did you see that? Four <laughs> Lakers chasing Tracy McGrady. That was an excellent pass by Chris Mim, and he just picked up his third foul on that last possession. Rockets will go back to McGrady again. Got a nice fake on Bryant. Takes it to the basket. Lost it. Rockets can get a little closer. McGrady with a three-pointer, and Tracy makes it a five-point game. Back outside. Brady. Bobby Brown tries to slow him down, gives up ground, and McGrady hits, and the Rockets have taken the lead by a point. 13-0 run by Houston. Kobe working on T-Mac. T-Mac's got to be careful. He's got four fouls. Tracy, and he draws the foul from David Wesley. If you just look at Kobe Bryant, they're going to blow us. I wonder how that happened. Here's a replay, Kobe with the pump fake. Devin George, who has it now, looking for Bryant. That's always the first option. Kobe picked up by McGrady. And uh, Wesley knocks it out of the hands of Bryant. Bryant has to put it up, and he got it. What a move by Kobe Bryant. That's just all out hustle there and determination, Bill. But what spurred that was the opportunity to get a second chance from the offensive rebound. Juricic is in there to try to cool Wesley off. Here's Wesley back the other way. Oh, and an offensive foul on Wesley. Bryant to the middle. And... Basket doesn't count. A blocking foul is called on Tracy McGrady, and that's his fifth foul of the game. Great move by Luke Walker. Takes it in all the way with the right hand. McGrady and George. Six seconds. Five seconds. Down to four. McGrady on the drive. McGrady to the back. The Houston Rockets have pulled it out here in L.A. What a road trip by the Houston Rockets. They win five games on this road trip out of six. It's a new franchise record.